Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Dino Adam, I hate fake news. Yes, it is disgusting. It actually makes me physically sick. Oh, the Tooth Fairy doesn't exist. Oh, Santa Claus doesn't exist. England is a monarchy. <coughs> I'm making shit up now. So when I found out that I made a cacalat now fake news in the country that I love, in the country that I would never leave for Switzerland with the high, <laughs> high living standards and quality of life. It has the third highest level of GDP per capita in the, that country. I would never leave it for that country. Ladies and gentlemen, the fake news, the article that I will be showing you is truly disgusting. This article was made by Rappler. How dare you? Rappler? <laughs> Who knew, right? Who knew the biggest fake news peddler in this country? Sinabi niya dito, Hindi totoo. Binigyan ni Marcos ng Nutribuns ng bata Michael Jordan noong 1969. Nice. Hindi totoo. <laughs> Rappler. Rappler, I can see that you are truly you're truly how dare you to give yourself a title and the ability to dub things totoo at hindi totoo <laughs> rapper disgusting ang katotohanan ay sa impormasyon galing sa official gazette kung saan makikita ang ginawa ni Marcos noong mga araw mula December 19 hanggang 25, 1969 nice wala si Marcos sa Estados Unidos noong December 24, 1969 rapper, how would you know? an official gazette? probably another fake news peddler how would you know what Marcos could do? Do you not know that he has the ability to time travel or even stop time? Yes, you didn't know that shit, did you? Bakit kailangan fact check? So we're talking about facts now, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, since we're on the topic of fact checking things, today I will give you the biggest information that you will ever hear in your life. Yes. Information na ibibigay ko sa inyo is napaka confidential. Nobody has ever seen it but me, Charles, and the person that we will be talking to. Ladies and gentlemen, that person is none other than Michael Jordan himself. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, kinausap ko si Michael Jordan and he has given me truly the spiciest of details. Ladies and gentlemen, I told him, pre. And he said, Uy, pre. And I was curious during this time. I asked him, Binigyan ka ba ng tinapay ni Marcos? This, this is it, everyone. Truly. I await his response. I thought to myself, Ano kaya sasabihin ni Michael Jordan? This is it. With bated breath, I waited. What will Michael Jordan say? Hearing it, from directly the person di pre burger yon siyo nagsabi tinapay rappler your move actually you have no moves left this is actually a checkmate rappler this information straight from the horse's mouth michael jordan himself or should i say the goat's mouth the greatest of all time he won the championship six times yes twice during that time he had done it three pit Michael Jordan a nutri bun no he would actually give him a Big Mac a burger yes I was very surprised with this information ladies and gentlemen sabi na nga ba fake news talaga at this point conversation was over I told him salamat man napaka fake news naman yan see Michael Jordan agrees with me ladies and gentlemen I say thank you to him Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Michael Jordan himself. Nagsabi, siya nagsabi mismo. Hindi lang yan yung fake news na nahanap ko. Um, actually, people have been saying na si Bongbong Marcos ay hindi kaibigan ng The Beatles. Yes, I was actually surprised to hear this news. Nakita ko na si Marcos nakikipag-chill kasama si na ano si na the beatles 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did before, I have spoken with a member of the Beatles. This will not only blow your mind, but it will leave it broken. I have spoken with John Lennon. Actually, he didn't contact. I didn't contact him. He contacted me himself. Sabi niya, Oy pre, haha, <laughs> si John Lennon to, di pa ako patay. I was surprised. My reply, Uy gagi, nice. John Lennon is alive. And he is here to clear, clear the air, to clear the misinformation. So I asked him, Pre, totoo ba na di niyo gusto si Marcus? I await his answer. Fake news niyan si George. <laughs> Bidigan nga kami no ng Nutriban bago umuwi ng England. The generosity the Marcus family has. My God, guys. My God. John Lennon himself. Holy shit, bro. Fake news pala. Teka, bigay ko kay Ringo Star pre. Not only is it John Lennon, but Ringo Star has also replied to this. Buti na lang generous si Marcus. Yes, truly generous si Marcus. Uy, pre, si Ringo Star to. Ha, ha. There you have it, Ringo Starr and John Lennon, everyone, from themselves. We love Bong Bong Pre. There you have it, everyone. Ringo Starr loves Bong Bong Marcus. Not only Ringo, Ringo Starr, but John Lennon. Yes. Truly, I am the greatest investigative journalist with the biggest, with the biggest information I've given you. This is the biggest. This is the biggest news of 2021. My God, you agree? And so, nung nalaman ko tong information na to, you know, I was truly, you know, disgusted by Rappler at this point. I realized, oh, fake news. Napaka fake news talaga ng mga gagawin to. And so, I spoke Miss Maria Ressa. Yes. Let's... I asked her, Uy, pre, fake news ba yung tungkol kay Marcos? Uy, pre, haha, oo. Oh, oh. There you have it, everyone. Trippings lang yun. How dare you, Maria Ressa? Trippings lang para pala. Trippings lang yun para sa'yo. Skuhatar mo naman. Gaya. At kala ko doon lang nagtatapos yun, mga lodi. May, pan, may pandagdag pa na information galing kay Maria Ressa. Uy, pre. Nagtanong ulit ako eh. Di ba nanalo ka ng Nobel Prize? Di pre, in-order ko lang yun sa Shopee. There you have it, everyone. Maria Ressa, a fraud. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Fake news. Who would do this? Maria Ressa. Only her. The biggest fake news propagator in the country. Absolutely sad to see that a fellow countryman would spread false news. Nobel Prize Shopee lang pala My God My God But there you have it everyone Today I hope this new information Would enlighten you My God Truly A mind-blowing experience Right? Uh, It has been me You know Nightly Days The best investigative journalist The whole world has ever known The whole universe will ever know Anyway, guys, that was it for today. I hope you have learned something. Sana may natutunan kayo. Sana na-realize yun na not everything that you see is true. Anyway, if you want to learn more about real news, just hit the subscribe button. Hit like on this video so people would know more about fake news. Obviously, uh, this was a sarcastic video. Um, yeah. Again, not political. This is just hilarious to me. Peace out.